my badges. So you've just won a DJI Mini 3 Pro from Aspire Competitions. Now, what do you do? Uh, the first thing you don't want to do is to crash it. So I'm going to give you a few tips and uh, hopefully that'll help you fly safe and get the best out of your DJI Mini 3 Pro drone. Uh, so the first thing to do is it might be tempting to keep the cover on the gimbal, on the camera, to protect it on your first flights, but don't do that because you've got air intake behind the, uh, the camera and um, if you leave the cover on, it'll blow up your drone by overheating. So remove the cover, unfold the arms, like so and you've got your drone ready to fly all you need to do now is to activate it turn on the battery turn on the uh, remote control as well that's a dji rc with the uh, beautiful screen display on uh, the remote which um, avoids you having to attach your smartphone to it and it's a lot less fiddly it's a, it's a really good one now, the first thing I would recommend to do is uh, on the RC, you've got three modes. You've got uh, a button that says C, N and S. C is for cinema, N is for normal and S is for sports. Sports is going to be very quick and uh, I wouldn't recommend that for your first flight. So switch it on to the cine mode. That's a much slower mode that allows you to do more cinematic moves and have a lot more control. Next thing to do is just to wait for the drone to acquire GPS uh, satellite connection. It needs to connect to at least 12 satellites and you see it on the top right of your remote control. It shows you the number of uh, satellites that it's acquired. I've already got 17 so I'm ready to go and it says on the remote take off permitted so that tells you that you're ready to fly. Normally you would put the drone down and, uh, and take off. Um, I'll do it differently, but uh, <laughs> uh, I like to take off from my hand. Um, that's something that you can do fairly easily without, without risk. You just have to not panic, that's all. So you just hold the drone like this and you press the takeoff button on the left-hand side of the remote. There's a button on the screen that just says take off. The drone switches on and off it goes. Basic controls for your drone. You've got the left uh, gimbal and the right gimbal. And the left one is what allows you to go up and down with the drone. If you go right on this one, or left, it's yaw, which basically means a rotation. Left or right. Now if you move to the second gimbal on the right, that is your um, moving forward or moving backwards moving right by going sideways moving left by going sideways okay so we're just going to send the drone really high up in the air and obviously to get a good photo you can face the sun but it's a little bit sort of the, the foreground will be quite dark. It will be a silhouetted foreground because the sun is behind. So the best is to just turn your back, have the drone, drone's back facing the sun so that the drone can look the other side where actually the sun is casting its light. So we're up in the air and we have um, the view of the landscape in front of us, but I feel like there is way too much, too much sky. So you use this little wheel here and this little wheel is what controls the camera and you can lower your camera to look down, have more or less of the sky visible in your photo. As a general rule, I like to have about a third, the top third of my screen with sky and the bottom two thirds with the, uh, the land. In order to, um, to shoot with this, it's very easy. It's actually written on the buttons here at the back. You've got a camera here, which is for photo and you've got a red dot here which is for video. If you want to take a photo, we just press the right one. So you're taking a photo like this with the right hand side button. If you want to take um, a photo in sort of portrait orientation, when I mean portrait, I mean vertical, which is just like you would have on Instagram stories or on TikTok. You've got the button here that shows you an orientation of your screen. If you press that button, your camera has rotated and you have a vertical image. Right, so 
you've done your thing, you've sent your drone up, you've shot a few photos, a few videos, and now you want to land safely. First of all, you've got to keep eye of line of sight with your drone. You've got to make sure you know where your drone is because if it's lost somewhere where you can't see it, it makes it a little bit more tricky, especially when you begin. So you've got your drone in line of, line of sight. If ever you're just lost and you have no idea how to bring it back, there's a very, very safe way to do it. Because you have waited to have satellite connection when you took off, that means the drone remembers exactly where it took off from. So we can literally press one button, which is on your remote, and it says H, which is for home. Just press that and the drone will, will come back immediately. And maybe we can just test this now. So the drone is coming back and I hope it's not going to land on my head and uh, give me the haircut that I deserve. And then all I need to do is push the stick back down and just hold it back down and wait until the drone does its thing. It lands itself, shuts itself down and we're good. I showed you how to take off from your hand. That's not really something that every beginner wants to do. So uh, one of the best way, just put it on a flat surface, make sure that there are no blades of grass or things like that that are um, in the way of the propellers because that's going to risk sort of jamming the motors and damaging the propellers. Um, all you need to do is push down the sticks this way. That starts the drone. And then just push the left stick up. Don't um, push it a little bit and then release. Just push it up until the drone is well up in the air. And that's it. The good thing is you can then release the stick, recompose yourself. It's not gonna go anywhere. And you can go little by little. With the avoidance system that you have on the DJI Mini 3 Pro, um, you're very unlikely to hit anything. So just be very careful, be composed, don't panic. If anything goes wrong, just release the controls and it'll just hover. And then if anything, if you're really too tired and too traumatized by the experience, just press the home button, it'll come back home. And with practice, you'll get better at it. Practice makes perfect. I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial and uh, that you will enjoy your new drone. Um, and do come back because we'll try and give you some tips that are a little bit more advanced, how to do sort of all bits around objects, how to uh, do lots of different moves that will really take your photography and your video to the next level.